Hi, I'm Fatty with Major Medical. Today we're going to talk about the different types and sizes of oxygen cylinders. So to start with, we're going to talk about the home fill tanks. As you can see, there are two different types. We have the straight post tanks and the oxygen conserving device or OCD tanks. So with these home fill straight post tanks, you'll notice a couple of things. Uh, it has the nozzle so you can fit them onto the home fill so that you can actually fill your tanks. Uh, this handle here uh, say, uh, serves the purpose of opening and closing the tank. So it basically is the same as this wrench and tether. If this does break off, then the top of it will, uh, will be clear for one of these wrenches to fit straight on so that you can open and close using that. As you can see, you have three different sizes for your home fill straight post tanks. You have a D tank, a M9 tank, and an M6 tank. As far as fill times go on these tanks, the uh, largest tank, the D tank, takes about uh, 3 hours and 20 minutes to fill. The medium size or M9 tank takes about uh, 2 hours and 10 minutes to fill. And the smallest or M6 tank takes about an hour and 15 minutes to fill. The second type of tank we're going to talk about are these OCD or oxygen conserving device tanks. Uh, instead of uh, delivering a continuous flow, these tanks are meant to deliver a pulse dose um, so that they will last a lot longer. Uh, these are usually for adult patients. You'll notice the regulator on these is already built in and uh, you can see the gauge right there to show you how full your tanks are. And your pulse or your uh, liter flow is actually set uh, with this dial here. And you'll see that you have settings from one to five pulse dose and then a two LPM continuous dose. Of course, on the two continuous, it's no longer a pulse dose and your tank will run out fairly quickly. The last type of tank we're going to talk about are your lot tanks. Uh, again, they come in three different sizes. You have the largest, the E tank, the middle sized D tank, and then the smaller one is a B tank. Uh, these all need a regulator. None of them have a regulator built in. They also, none, also none of them have a nozzle, so you can't fill these at home with your home fill system. So if you take a look here to open and close these, you'll also always need this wrench and tether. If you take a look at the holes there, just put that on right there and you twist it to the left to open it and to the right to close it. Those are all the types and sizes of tanks that we offer. Uh, if you have any questions about how long these tanks will last, please check the duration chart at the end of the video. I'm Fatty with Major Medical. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks and have a good day.